Hey guys, it's No One Who, and I've got a tutorial for today on how to install Mod Loader for Minecraft 1.3.2. This is an awesome thing that you should definitely get if you're going to be using mods. Alright, to start it off, we're going to start with the downloads. The downloads are in the description below if you need them, so get them right now. We're going to start off by getting, you can choose either WinRAR or 7-Zip. These programs basically arch your files and allow you to search through other folders, etc. So you don't really need to know what it means. You either need WinRAR or 7-Zip. For this example, I'll be using WinRAR, but if you'd like to use 7-Zip, go ahead. They both do the same thing. Alright, so go ahead and download your specific program you wanted between WinRAR and 7-Zip. Alright, now that you've got that, install it, get it on your computer, that's good to go. Next, we want you to get Mod Loader. So you're going to follow the second link that I've posted below in the description to the minecraftforum.net. Now this is where you're going to download Mod Loader. You're going to scroll down here. He's got some frequently asked questions, so if you have any trouble that happens during the process of installing it, you can come here, look through the questions, and hopefully fix it up. Anyway, you're going to scroll down to here until you see Mod Loader 1.3.2. And just once again, download it. How, from wherever you want. It's either direct download or through AdFly. It's up to you. Once you've installed that, just leave it as is. I'll, I'll download it again now so we know what we're getting into. So Mod Loader basically helps you installing mods onto Minecraft a lot easier and it helps so if you have two separate mods they don't clash. It allows you to use basically use two mods so they don't clash. So we're going to download this show and folder. I'm going to put it onto my desktop so you guys know what I'm doing. Just going to place it here, nothing special. Leave it as that type of file right there, right now. Good, we've done that. Okay, now we're going to go on to backing up Minecraft. So to back up Minecraft, what we're going to do is go down here. As you can see, it says search for programs and files and you go percentage app data percentage and click enter. Now I'm going to put that in big text on the video so you can see what I'm typing. If you don't have that search file, um, that search, whatever you call it down here, don't, uh, not available, you can find run. So if you find run, go through your program files, etc. If you can find this here called run, you just type the exact same thing as app, data, percentage, enter, and it'll open the exact same folder. I already have it open so it didn't open it again, but yeah. And in this roaming folder, you can see dot minecraft open that up right now okay these are your minecraft files what we're going to do is going to go onto your desktop as you can see here with my mouse we're going to make a new folder you can call it what you want i'm going to call mine mc backup so we're basically building a folder where we can put the files of minecraft into a backup so we have them stored just in case anything goes wrong so you're going to come in here get all the files control all or you can probably, I think you can right click and select all. No, it doesn't look like it. Just control all or shift click to down the bottom. I'm just, I'm being basic, but I need to help all those people out there. And you're going to move every single file into the MC backup. So now that you've got them in the MC backup, which I just opened now, they are good and they are fine. That is your backup. You no longer need those files at the moment. But what we're going to do is, with the Minecraft folder, we're going to put back a few files that we need to move over. Okay, for the first one, we're going to put saves in, which is your world. So copy and paste it back into the Minecraft folder where you got it from. The app data file, file, folder. Excuse me. Next, you're going to put in your last login. Just right click, copy, paste, or control C, control P, it's up to you, and servers data. That's just if you use servers. This is for everyone once again. So we're going to paste that in. Okay, that's good. That's all you need at the moment. So now what we need to do is we want to get all those folders back and running. So we're going to open up Minecraft again and update it to 1.3.2. Because because I moved all the folders, it needs to update again. So we're going to log in with the details already saved there. Da -da 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 -da. Waiting for it to go. Come on. Come on. Alright, so it's going to take a little while to load. But what is basically happening is it's creating the folders back in the Minecraft app data folder. So all the folders we just moved into the backup are being restored and fresh 
in Minecraft once again. So that's good to go. Now, after we do this, we're going to start. We're get, this is where I'm going to show you how to actually install Mod Loader into Minecraft. But right now, I'm just waiting for it to hurry up. So I'm going to fast forward. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to fast forward because as soon as I said that, it finished. Okay, close down Minecraft. Dun dun dun. dun. Oh, this is the exciting part. All right, so you can see all the folders have been replaced. They're back to new. They're going well. They're fresh. They're good. All right, so this is in the app data folder. You're gonna click on bin under Minecraft. You're gonna click bin, and see here it says Minecraft. Make sure it's an executable jar file. Now what you wanna do is right click it, open with, and if you downloaded WinRAR or 7-Zip, either one, they do the same thing once again open it up with the specific program you chose. For me, it's WinRAR. So just going to open it up like that. Because it's not the paid version, a little pop up is going to come up. Simply close it and it's good to go. Alright, now this next part is absolutely crucial. Alrighty? So this is what we just opened through WinRAR or 7-Zip. And as you can see, these are like the extra files of the Minecraft folder. What you want to do is delete the meta and file meta inf delete that folder it if you don't you're gonna get a black screen when loading mods and loading minecraft with the mods so just delete that simple click it delete you can right click it delete and get rid of that folder good and gone alright now for the next step now earlier we downloaded mod loader which I showed you the link is in the description if you haven't downloaded it, if you missed that step go back download it get it it will look like this on the desktop double click it to open it up once again not the paid version so an ad's going to pop up now all these files here are basically the mod loader so what we want to do is control all select every file in there and just move it into the minecraft jar winrar what's open here you know what we just opened before drag all the files back over there click ok ok that's done now you're probably asking how do we know if it's working? Did, did it work or did it not? Now you can close this WinRAR, that's all done. The only way to tell without actually installing a mod is to go back to your app data folder for Minecraft and open up Minecraft again, like load the actual game. And what's going to happen is there should be a mod folder created back in the app data. As you can see here, there's the folder right there. And that's how to install mod loader for Minecraft 1.3.2. For the next tutorial, I will show you how to install mods into that mod loader. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to thumbs up the video, like, comment, and favorite. Have a good day, guys. See ya.